boat pull. There you can see it's a heavy old boat and Masias Beljak is the first man up against it, the Slovenian. He's turned 22 now. He really is so explosive as an athlete, attacking this first event. Well, you can see the speed he's moving at. He's around about 1 metre 90 tall, packs a lot of muscle onto that frame. Certainly an athlete with colossal potential. You can see the rope slapping up and down on the water. Marcel Moster, the referee there at the front of the boat, doing his Kate Winslet impression <laughs> from Titanic. 25-72, he's the one who calls it when it's past the boy to stop. Now, Irving Katona, next up. The big serve, you can see the water dripping off the rope. You can only imagine conditions from Beljak to the rest of the guys are only going to worsen. This rope will get more and more damp and sodden. Hopefully their grips will hold up. Irvin Katona's really attacking this. The Serbs going all out. And his grip's not slipping either. Beljak's time, 25. And Katona, well, he's just ahead. Zagaris now. A pensive look on the Latvian's face. They'll be wanting to do well here, having come equal top with Martin Vildau in the last outing, but losing a shot at gold because of countback. He had less first places. They had equal points in round seven of the Strongman Champions League. So he's attacking this. He's not the tallest of men, but he really did fly there. It's got to be quicker than 25, 2306. There's our new leader. Arnott of Bosnia Herzegovina. Oof, he is struggling heavily here. That's a horrible start, but now he's got it going. And I bet in the back of his mind he's thinking, ah, the tide's going out, it's working against me. They tried to time it so that everyone pulls as the tide's just finishing coming in here. Gorgeous setting here in Split. I have to say, one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. Well, Arnott, he's not going to beat the likes of Beljak or Katona. Outside 30 seconds. On to Larry Nami now, one of the real favourites for this event. The big Estonian house builder from Tallinn. Oof. He hit a brick wall there, didn't he? Big tug first time and he just didn't move it at all so he's wasted uh, four or five seconds there just evaporated but he's got this moving now the boat just drifting sideways a little it's a frustrating old event this arm over arm with the boat but it looks a million dollars it really does Larry Nami 28.72 well I'm not sure that's going to get him too many points, especially with the likes of Martin Vildau still to come. This guy was just born to pull. 1 metre 95, maybe, maybe 1 metre 98. Incredible long arms, a vice-like grip. Wrenching away at the rope here. He's getting this moving. He's built like an Olympic rower. He should be superb at this. It's almost coming too quickly at him here. Fumbling a little bit for the rope there. It's not going to be the fastest. Well, is he quicker than Nami? Very similar time in the end, just fractionally quicker. 28 seconds. Now, Ole Martin Hansen of Norway. Two times Norway's strongest man. Had some injury problems, had to go away. It was his back. <laughs> Who doesn't have a bad back, of course? But, well, strong men, they have it worse than anybody. He's had 18 months off. He's come back. 15 kilos lighter he really does look a much fitter man here a Norwegian in this kind of heat you'd have seen him two years ago when he was 160 plus kilos he'd be dying but he's ripping at this just a little lack of coordination in the end it cost him a couple of seconds but 28.56 he's in a cluster of men all around the 28 second mark Dotlitz of Croatia 
big bearded Chrysler. You can hear the cheers from the local crowd. They'd love to see their man do something special here. Getting into his rhythm. It's a little traditional. One hand over the other, big long pulls. I think this is just coming too fast. You've just got to attack it with your arms, like we saw Irvin Katona and Beljak do. Now he's doing it, he's given up on the legs. They're just too slow in this situation. So Dotlich just outside 30 seconds. Another Croatian name, Michael Virilic, qualified pilot, no less, from Australia, down to a rather thin, by his standards, 110 kilograms. Remember, he's well over 1 meter 90 tall. Was Australia's strongest man three years ago. He had to give up the sport. He was just too busy with things. So this is his return contest, if you like. Where better to do it than uh, back in your home country? He's obviously of Croatian origin, and he's attacked that as best he can. What was the final time? 28.84, another man on 28. Let's see how Zhistov gets on with this. Good to see him back, that's for sure. Former Strongman Champions League world champion. Had that horrible biceps injury that was really hampering him. Had it ever since Malaysia at the end of last season. Had to have an operation in the end, and now he's back. Got a good rhythm going here. Starting to go heavy with the arms now as it's coming quickly. 25 seconds comes and goes. Is he going to be another on 28? I don't believe it. He is. 28-38. It's tight. Danis, have you ever done a boat pool before? Yes, one time. One time. Was that in Latvia? Yes, in the final, I think, two, 2012. So you did have experience with this. Did you win it there as well? No, that I wasn't for because it's a little bit lucky game, maybe. Well, we all know with the boat pool, the water, the elements of water, you know, it, it, is, it is a lucky game. But still, you hit the, the best pool. Um, do you look forward to the next events now? Yeah, of course. I fight until the end. Next event is a log lift. It's also good for me, but uh, it's a good uh, log lifters. But, you know, I fight always. What do you think of the temperature here? It's 36 degrees. Isn't that too hot for you? It's very hot. It's, uh, sun takes a lot of energy and a little bit too hard, but Anyway, that's why we are strong men. Good luck, man. Thank you. From the Baltic Sea right down here to uh, the Mediterranean. Zagaris, though, putting in a storming time. 23 seconds. He gets top points. Katona in second. Belzac third.